Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have to make ice cream. I have some heavy cream and milk that um, is getting on the older side so I'm going to make ice cream out of it before it goes bad. Our favorite type of ice cream in this house is mint ice cream, mint chocolate chip actually. So that's what I'll be making. This past year we made mint extract from the different varieties of mint that we grew and I'm going to use chocolate mint extract for this ice cream. This needs to chill in the fridge for a couple of hours to get it nice and cold. Look who's here! It's the baby! Baby, what do you want for dinner? You want pizza? Okay. Pizza dough is done and now it must rest and get nice and big and strong just like you when you sleep. <laughs> So my next task I am very excited about. I've been wanting to make my own for, I don't know, a good couple years now, but I finally, I guess, have all the ingredients and have the time. So we'll get started. I am going to be making my own chapstick. I am going to be making a lavender coconut oil chapstick. Um, I just found this recipe online and I got the lip balm containers. So let's get started. So I have the coconut oil, beeswax pellets, and the avocado oil in this uh, double boiler. And so I'm just going to wait for it to uh, all melt. So I read online that you can use egg cartons to help stand these up so when you fill them they don't uh, fall over. So I'm going to do that. Alright, we are almost there. All right, so I added in the essential oils and a little bit of honey, and I'm gonna just pour it into this um, jar with a spout so I can easily pour it into the, uh, the chapstick containers. And I gotta work kind of quickly because I don't want the beeswax hardening on me like it already is. While I work with this chapstick, uh, it's taking me a little bit longer than I expected. So uh, you guys can watch Baby because she's way more entertaining than I am. What are you doing? So this is what they look like. So this recipe made 12 uh, chapstick containers um, with a tiny bit extra, which I used on my lips and it feels very nice. Um, and overall, I really like the recipe, um, but I did use like half the amount of essential oils that the recipe called for and I'm glad that I did. I think the full amount would have been a little overpowering. Um, but yeah, I am very pleased with how this came out. All right, one more thing to do today. I have this leftover sourdough loaf that I want to do something with before it goes bad. So I'm gonna try out this um, baked French toast casserole recipe uh, that I'm bringing to brunch um, in a couple of days. So I figured I'd try out the recipe before serving it to people. So let's get started. Easy. Good job. <laughs> oh, don't grab it. <laughs> Gentle. Good job. Uh -oh. 
the French toast casserole is done and this will be breakfast for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna put it in the fridge tonight and tomorrow morning I'll bake it. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the ice cream. I have a kitchen made ice cream maker and I love it. All right, we're gonna let it turn for a little bit. We're working on our pizza toppings and the pizza dough is, has risen quite a bit. And our, we have our oven preheating with our pizza stones. It's gonna be good. Sprinkling some semolina flour on the pizza stone. How's the ice cream? Taking a break from the pizza to finish up the ice cream. So I'm gonna pour it in this bowl and then add the top chocolate chips. We decided not to put chocolate chips in this ice cream, but ice cream looks fantastic. Kevin is quite enjoying it. <laughs> First pizza in the oven. Pizza looks delicious. Mm. We're gonna enjoy dinner. Thank you for joining us. Have a great evening. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Mm-hmm.